he's a little bit out of control, so now we have to make control on him. So now I'm going to put a little more pressure on him on the control. Lats. Good. Hey guys, as your chilled canine. So today I noticed that we have a few too many subscribers. So I'm going to show you some real dog training. Thin the herd a little bit. See who really appreciates the real stuff. So this is the kind of thing probably most trainers will never show and a lot of them will sanitize out of their videos. I'm going to show you, okay? So this is a young dog. Not young actually, I should say. He's like 22 months, maybe two years old. I have to check. But regardless, not super young. Um, and, uh, you know, he's a, he's a you know fairly experienced in bite work. Uh, we have good secondary control on him. But uh, I noticed that the last few sessions we were starting to become a little bit out of control. And he's that kind of dog that you got to clean him up from time to time. Otherwise, he starts taking liberties. And he's been taking liberties the last few sessions. So I said, today, we're going to give him a little bit of a lesson. We're going to clean him up. And um, so you're going to see that, or parts of that anyways, in this video. Um, I don't ever recommend that you do anything like this, especially if you're not experienced, because the consequences, there's always side effects when you do things like this. There's side effects in the dog's targeting. There can be side effects in the dog's grip. There can be side effects in the dog's commitment. If you don't know how to put pressure on a dog and you don't know what the potential downside of that pressure is, you probably shouldn't be doing it. And that's what a lot of people do. You see a lot of protection training. People have either one of two things. They have power or they have control, but never both. Okay. The ideal protection is you have both power and control. And that's something that's quite impressive. And a lot of people think they have it, but they really don't. Um, you know, something that I like to show sometimes on our channel where I show elements of how do we get to that place. So today you're going to see a, a little bit of a cleanup session. Dog was in pretty good control, but uh, lately I've noticed he's been a little bit of a jerk. So you see now how we address that. So uh, if you don't like it, make sure you dislike this video. And if you do like it, like and comment below. And if you disagree with me, write how you would do it. And if you're from Sweden, I know you're gonna say, well, in Sweden, we don't do this. We, we trade ball for the, for the out. Well, listen, if I ever had a dog that was willing to give up his grip on a suit or on a sleeve, on the man for a ball, I would say this is not the dog for me. But that's my opinion. Move slowly off that way. Sit. Now I'm going to send him. He has to be quiet. I don't want him loud right now. Where is he? Is he good? Armpit? Not good. Not good? Uh, he fixed himself now. Oh, he fixed himself. Good. It's a little high, but we'll take it. You got the front line? Yep. Get ready. Good boy. <laughs> you go on this side, Hep. Get him. You get that fucker. Hush. Yeah, good. Hold there. Hold still. Get him. Get him. the lesson he needed. He liked to play some games there on the out. Always the first out, he's dirty. Now watch. I won't stim him on the next out. This time, don't let go. Get him. And I'm giving the bite command now because he's going to be really sensitive after the big correction for the out. I know, in Sweden, we do not need this for out. In Sweden. Good, ready? And don't set up. Don't make him, don't make him see he's anticipating. Come on. Yeah, grab him on the flank a little bit there. Yeah, good. Ice! Oh, no e-collar that time. See? Now he knows. Last couple training sessions, he's been an asshole. So now we make some pressure on him. He has to be in control. Slowly open your bicep. Get ready. Pop back when I give the command. Oh, he was caught slipping there a little bit. Good. Good boy. And again, we do it. It's not always such a nice, clean process. Oh, yeah, good. 
some conflict now because we need big pressure on the out. Dog now he's anticipating a little bit. A lot of the crying, he's pulling, no problem. Big pressure forward. In, in, yell at him. Anticipating. Oh. Again, no e collar, even though it looks like it. No e collar. He's just again anticipating. Okay, guys, I feel the need to add another disclaimer. Let me just get the cookie crumbs off me here. Um, don't do this at home. Do not. I guarantee you, most of you will screw your dogs up. What I did for that dog was specifically for that dog. That's not best practice. That's not something that you do with every dog. Something that dog needed. And that's something that you have to understand. One size does not fit all in dog training. 